Hmm. I don't think he's down here. Oh, hello. This goes down to the special room, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, damn. That sucks. Oh, where is he? He's definitely not in the basement. I guess I'll just go around. I guess I'll just go around and look for a locked door. Oh, fuck. Oh. Whew. Oh, I think... Wait, did it hurt me? I think it might have hurt me. There better be something good in here. Ooh. Okay, that was worth it. Definitely worth it. Wait, can I just use the key on all of these? No. I just flashed myself. Good job. Whoops. Camera, compendium of precepts, regimens, and rules of conduct, fuck you. God, where could he be? Oh shit. And I just wasted that. Great. The hell was that? Was that a demon hawk? Well, he's not here. Hello, outside of the level area. How you doing today? Mayhaps I'll find him up here? The hell is that 
lit square. Is that anything, or is that just a lit square? It's just a lit square. Okay. I like how there's literally no footstep sounds. It's like this. It's like they never conceptualized the idea of anyone standing on this sort of material, so they never assigned any sound to the material, or something. Well, let's keep going. Are you down here, priest? Hello? He's not here. Alright, I have no idea where the priest is. Set off the alarm. Good, I can't, because that would have annoyed the shit out of me. And it would have been stuck on. Well, I can go back down and look for him down there. Which is probably the most likely place for him. Well, he's not in here. So let's go wherever I need to go to get out of this place. I don't remember where. Let's find it. Here we go. Right, so now we're back down here. And this is the place that required the key. And he must be somewhere that requires the key or they wouldn't have given it to me. Alright. <sighs> it's gotta be in here, right? I mean... This is like the only place left. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Oh, oh priest, oh priest. Where are you? When I get my hands on you, I am going... to be very cross. I'm just going to run around randomly until I find him. I can't think of anything else to do, other than look at a walkthrough again, which I'm certainly considering. Get, get off of him.
Wait, what? This is the high priest? The high priest was the body that was just sitting here. On top of Fauna. The seemingly dead body on top of Fauna was an unconscious high priest. Fuck you, thief. Fuck you. You know what? I'm gonna roast him a bit just for all the mental stress. Here, asshole. There, now he's nice and toasty. Got me some barbecued high priest. Aw, oh, yeah. Ah, stupid map. I keep opening the map. Oh, shit. I keep opening the map reflexively, thinking it will actually help, but it almost never does. Please tell me this is going down to the water. I hear water. That's a good sign. Hmm, can I just take him here? Hello? Oh, sweet! Okay. Mission complete! What next? This is it. The Hammers say they've received word that Constantine's descended into his realm to perform a ritual with the Eye. The Hammers have built me a booby-trapped counterfeit Eye. If I can swap it for the real thing, it should cause him some trouble. If he doesn't notice me. I've never robbed a god before. It'd be a challenge. Sounds like this level is going to be even more insane than usual. Into the Maw of Chaos. You get to go after him. Yay! Alright, let's go. Oh, I don't get to buy equipment. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you for putting me in harm's way, game. And that's the portal to hell that I just came through, I guess. Is there another one behind him? Here's something else. Hello. Where are you guys going? Wait, are they going? Oh. Wait, so they just left? Oh, all these things are coming from the Realm of Chaos. So they're going... They're like resupply troops, I guess. <laughs> Can I go back through? Nope. And I'm still impressed with how good some of these particle effects look. I'm still curious if they've been improved in any of the patches that I've installed or if this is how they originally looked. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm curious. Is this how they looked before? Or is this uh, an improvement? Oh, shit. Is that a blue one? Never seen that before. Oh, God. There's a lot coming. Oh 
Okay, let's go. Hopefully it isn't an infinite line of enemies, but I fear it might be. <laughs> Is there a map for this place? This is actually a map, isn't it? It's saying I'm... Yeah, it's saying I'm here. Well, this map looks lovely. I can't wait to go there. Are they coming from down there? Oh, shit, there's someone there. Didn't see a thing. Can I get in darkness? Oh, there we go. I'm in perfect darkness right here, apparently. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. And of course I'm half dead. Do I have a health potion? Yes, I do. Alright, so let's take an inventory. Because I never actually got to see what I had. Got my main weapons, got a bunch of arrows. One water arrow, that's terrible. One fire, terrible. One moss, doesn't even matter. One gas, because I've just used two. Five ropes. Alright, not bad. And I've got two flash bombs. Damn, I'm still up here. This is gonna be a big level. I can already tell. Yeah, the overall design of, of Thief Gold actually re definitely really reminds me of System Shock 2. In the sense that the environments that you're in get gradually more insane as you get further in the game until you reach some final, grand, insane level like this one. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Well, this hasn't been going too well. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, go. For fuck's sake. Well, it seems I have every single enemy in the entire level on me. I'm just going to run down now, goodbye. Fight me, monkey man. Where does this go? Can never have enough gas arrows.
Oh, hey, what's up? Come around the corner. God, you have a lot of health. There we go. I think I'm just gonna take my other health potion right now. I hear someone coming. Step across the mine. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> that was satisfying. All right, what does this papyrus say? I didn't even realize I had it in my inventory. Warning of the Maw. I'm supposed to wear the Rock of Crystal. I... that doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it will later, but it doesn't yet. Alright, where am I now? I'm still up here? You've gotta be kidding me! Ugh. These look like textures that haven't been replaced yet. What am I seeing? Um... Am I hallucinating? So that's how the praying mantis people are made. They come from green ectoplasm balls that come out of lava. That totally makes sense. I understand now. Everything, everything has fallen into place. Oh god. That was loud. And that hurt. I'm gonna reload. I wonder if I can't knock him out. Yeah, I can't knock him out because he's alerted. Alright, I'm just gonna run past him. Right. Where can I go? Because I better go there fast. I'm going to go there right now. Yep. Goodbye. Alright, where am I? I'm still up there at the top, apparently. I like how there's one patch of lava right where it should spill over the lip. Oh, hello. I like how there's one patch of lava right where it should spill over the lip, but the lava's going sideways. Okay, so apparently the bubbles aren't coming from the lava, they're coming from some sort of underground chamber. I wonder what's down there. I could actually get there, probably. Okay, I think I'm finally, yeah, I'm finally to the crystals. Oh, God. What the hell? What did I just get hurt by? Do the crystals hurt? Okay, apparently they're electrically charged or something. And the ground is slippery. I... 
is it supposed to be ice? I'm not, no, I'm not really sure. But regardless, it is slippery. Oh, one of you, one of you little fuckers. I love the way they explode so violently. It's very satisfying. Oh. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. Oh, maybe not. Now let's not try that again. Uh, that's for sure. Oh, this is actually down where they're made. Some sort of Swiss cheese... lava plant... stuff. Who the hell knows? This game stopped making sense about 20 minutes after the beginning of it. Oh, what's down here? Cause I'm about to fall off. Well, I see a very slippery surface and one crystal. Beyond that, I can't plan my move, so what the hell, let's go. There we go. Okay. Hmm, fruit. All right, let's try and pick a safe way down. I guess right here in the middle. Perfect. What is that thing? Is this the Maw? Why is that water going backwards? Is this like a reversed chamber? Or something? Hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the only way I can go is up here, I guess. Interesting. Man, this would be a fun ride at a park, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be physically possible, but it would be fun if it did exist. I'm almost out of air. Please go. Please go faster. Please go a lot faster. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, uh, uh. The hell? 
Oh, that just leads back here. That just leads back to where I started. Alright, let's see where this thing goes. Oh, I'm above it. Okay, save. Alright, is there anything to grab here? Because I need to get out of this thing very quickly. Nope, okay, time to drop. Into the maw. Whew, that hurt a bit, but I'm okay. You know what? I'm not afraid of you. Maybe I should have been afraid of you. Oh, that must be the tree thing. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Let me just gather them all up. Looks like there's only two. Come on, guys. Actually, I only have two flash bombs. I don't think there's any reason to use them. Okay. Just gonna go around the tree once more to ditch him, get him out of the way. What the hell is that thing? It's like a rainbow color particle thing. What is that? Wait a minute, can I put a rope arrow? I think they're near. Did it did it work? I can't even see. Yeah, it did work. Jeez, be quiet. Shh, there's people sleeping. I don't think the rope went down enough though, did it? No. I'm just gonna dodge these. Hmm, fruit. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I'm going up here. Oh, three in one place. Do I have a mine? Yes, I do. Wait, do I have a fire arrow? Yes, I have a bunch. Splash damage for the win. Gotta love them AoEs. Alright, so whatever this is, does it hurt me? Or what? I don't feel like testing it. Hmm, I can't reach. Rope arrow time. Huh. Where do I use it? That's a lame use of a rope arrow, but it works. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to... Oh, maybe I am supposed to go up here. I guess I am. 
but I can't leave without knowing what the hell that thing is, so let me test this. Does this do any- oh shit. Does this do anything? Nope. Alright, what does this stuff do? It's a ladder. That's the strangest ladder I've ever seen. Oh shit. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, there's way too many spiders. I'm just gonna waste all my arrows. It's not worth it. Gonna go ahead and dodge him. You can do it, Garrett. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Interesting. Hope this doesn't turn off midway through. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just gonna run then. Gee, that was difficult. Hmm. That was totally wrong. Oh, that looked close. Is it going too short or too far? I think it's too short. Oh, fuck it. Come on. Why don't you go to sleep in the lava? That looks comfortable. Join your friend. Wow. I meant to jump, but it didn't jump, but thankfully I grappled on. Wait, is there something down there? Whoa, wait, assuming I could even get down there, how would I get back? Not worth it. I don't think there's anything there anyway.
Bunny hopping is so fun in this game. It makes no sense, but oh shit. Mm, right about there. Don't know if that went long or short. I'm going to assume short. I have no clue. I can't see it. You know what? This one goes straight. Let's just do this. Something just shoot me. Huh. No, don't move. I'm just going to reload that. Because that was pure incompetence. Alright, let's try that again. Nope. There. Oh, apparently one fire arrow does not kill the praying mantis people. I love the walk they do. Alright, whatever. I'll shoot when I get closer. Wow, two doesn't kill him. Alright. Apparently I don't have to kill them anyway, so who cares? Well, these are convenient. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, I'm gonna billy club it. Whoops. Oh, this is the demon. This is the eye. Oh shit. Oh, he's totally gonna kill me. Yeah, he's just like instantly doing... Yeah. Okay, this is the room? Alright. Well, this is gonna be difficult. I guess I should use moss? The whole way? That should do it. Just gotta wait for him to go away and then come back. Because I think he heard me. I think that pentagram surface is like tile pretty much. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, I think this is my chance. Let me prep it. Fake eye. What's my new objective? Okay. Wait for him to complete the ritual. Gonna back up. Gonna save it. Let me make a permanent save just in case. Oh, he needs to go to all the different places, doesn't he? Okay, I didn't even realize I had a time limit for this thing. Okay, 
Slash, Swampy Swarm, Sewer Slush, Drain Pipe Skull, Call the Wave, Call the Blue, brings it forth, World of Doom. I think there's two more to go. Yep. But yeah, one there and then one over there. Here we go. Goodbye, demon. I assume it's safe. Mission complete. I just killed a god, apparently. That's what Garrett called it. Called it a god. I was just calling it a demon. Uh, let me get my... My post-god-killing stretch. All right, what now? I just saved the world, yourself included. As we knew you would, as it had to be. Now I remember why I left the Keepers. And I remember why we let you go. What do you want from me? Have you come to congratulate me? Welcome me back to the fold? Very well. I will speak my piece plainly. You have accomplished that which was written, and yes, you've done it well. But there is no place for you with us any longer. Yet you will have a great need of us, and soon. I don't think so. I'm through with heroics, and with your kind as well. You cannot run from life as you did from us, Garrett. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Listen, there is a book that you were not made aware of. I am here to tell you that it would be wise for you to read it now. But you can still read hieroglyphs. I do try to forget, but you keepers leave them everywhere for me. Yes. You have more friends than you know. Tell my friends that I don't need their secret book, or their glyph warnings, or their messengers. Tell them I'm through. Tell them it's over. Tell them Garrett is done. I will tell them this. Nothing has changed. All is as it was written. 
the trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age. There we go. There is the end of Thief Gold. All right. So, quick summary. Uh, I've, like I said before, I've never played Thief One or Two. The only Thief I've ever played is Thief Three, aka Thief Deadly Shadow or Deadly Shadows, whatever it's called. Um, it's def Thief One uh, or Thief Gold is definitely dated really, really dated, and it has massive gaping flaws in basically every single facet of the game. But despite that, I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have played through the whole game. So, let me just go over the, the problems with the game that I had. Um, Alright, so the AI is terrible. It's both a combination of frequently stupid and frequently frustrating. The level design is absolutely, ridiculously insane, and some of the worst level design I've ever seen. It's just absurd. Um, that's... I mean, that's practically it. And those are actually some of the most important things, because that comes to the core of the gameplay. The AI, the sneaking mechanics how you traverse through the levels, that's pretty much all of the game, and all of those are highly flawed. But, despite that, I still enjoyed it, and frankly, I'm not even really sure why I enjoyed it. Given all the flaws it had. I mean, I kind of half gave up on sneaking in pretty much the entire second half of the game. Hell, maybe even the last three-fourths of the game I pretty much gave up sneaking and just ended up running everywhere and bashing people in the face and using flash bombs. So I wasn't even sneaking all that much. I didn't really feel any particular drive to steal stuff, because there wasn't really that much that I could even spend the money on. So it felt kind of pointless. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I kept playing. I mean, there's one thing the game does well. Well, mm, no, actually two things I can think of that it does well. It had a very nice sort of open world. I mean, you're stuck in a level, of course, but within each level, there's a massive variety of ways you can go about solving it. Which was great, I love that. So I think maybe it's that freedom that made the game so interesting to me. Um, and the other thing it does is it has a really unique universe that it's set in. It's sort of like a medieval world with a slight bit of steampunk and fantasy. It's a really interesting mix, and I like it. So I, th I guess between the open world sort of nature of it, or the open-ended nature of the levels, I shouldn't say open world, because the, the world is definitely not open, but the levels are open within each level. So I think between the open, the open-endedness and the interesting world, I think that's what kept my interest think. That's the only thing I can think of. So anyway, at the end of the day, that was a very flawed, but very interesting and fun game. So I really liked it. So I will be playing Thief 2, and then almost certainly on to Thief 3. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break in between Thief Gold that I just finished and Thief 2, because I don't want to get burnt out on the series. So I will be playing Thief 2, but there's going to be a little bit of a break where I play at least one other game in between. So if you're looking forward to Thief 2, don't worry, it is coming. And uh, that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed my playthrough of Thief Gold.